Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Y'all already know for what, a quick little video. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and jump right into this actual video. Now y'all, y'all already know that the streets are on fire. Things are getting a little bit crazy and it's getting ready to be a bullshit weekend. Y'all already know that shit is brewing up, okay? So I'm going to tell y'all, keep y'all notifications on because you never know when your girl is going to come through. Now, Gerard. Gerard. Do you not see your wife or whatever over there acting a complete fool? She is getting worse and worse by the day. At this point, Gerard, Olivia needs to be somewhere kind of that looks like this. A gated community. A room where all the walls are white. Sheets white. And, and a straight jacket. That is what Olivia is putting off to me. Gerard, I don't know what the fuck all that you did to Olivia, but what I do know, Gerard, is that <laughs> I feel sorry for you that you have three kids by her and you literally have to deal with her until they are grown. Yes. And we already know how Olivia as painting you out to be a deadbeat. That's what Olivia is painting you out to be, Gerard. Olivia is painting you out to be a deadbeat. Now, Gerard, I see you coming on over, you know what I'm saying, saying shit and, you know, all up underneath the stuff. You know, I see it. I see your girlfriend liking it and all of that type of shit or whatever. But, Gerard... When you do all of that, Olivia is not wrapped. Olivia is not wrapped. Olivia is not wrapped tight at all. Not at all. Okay? Not at all. Now, Olivia has made you out to be one of the worst men that someone could think of she has made you out to be a woman beater domestic violence she has made you out to be a monster she has made you out to be a customer of prostitution yes she has made you out to be a customer of prostitution and also she has made you out to be gay that's what she's said before. Now, this is how I feel about it, Gerard. I feel, Gerard, that if you were able to get over Olivia, <laughs> Gerard, you could really go ahead and run to be the next president. Because that lady over there, she is looking very, very crazy. Okay. Gerard, she doesn't even know or understand the fact of how she is looking to your family or even your girlfriend. What Olivia is doing is because of the fact that she is still in love with you. Olivia thinks it is still some hope and Olivia is praying to God. That one day you will knock on that door in Florida and you will say, live the stallion. <laughs> I am back. Because Gerard, I don't know if you know whatever, but Liv also calls herself live the stallion. Yeah. Now, I don't know if Liv started calling, you know what I mean, herself live the stallion when she seen how your girlfriend you get me was real curvy and all of that. When she saw that, Gerard, you should have known 
that there was something clearly wrong with Olivia and you need to slide yourself to the left and you need to try to go and get your own kids. The girl went into the bathroom, Gerard, and started putting in braids like your girlfriend. <laughs> she didn't give a fuck. She went into that bathroom, baby. And she said, fuck this. If I can't get his attention, I'm going to put in some braids. And that's exactly what she did, okay? The braids looked like dog shit, but Olivia still did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did. That is when Olivia started to unravel. Mm -hmm. When she seen her face to face, it drove Olivia insane. Mm -hmm. So that was why she started, you know, to get Brandon and put him on a camera and all of that type of shit. That was why. Because Gerard, she wanted you to be so upset. She wanted you to come crying to her. But Gerard, she did say that you were at her window and her and Brandon were in there and you was throwing rocks at the window saying that you just slept with her. Now, Gerard, I pray that that was not true for the simple fact that you would look crazy doing that and you have a girlfriend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, Gerard, but whenever you do decide to go and see your kids, I would say to take your girlfriend with you. Gerard, do not go down there under any circumstances by yourself. Olivia is on some real, real, real crazy shit, okay? Olivia will get you in the house and you will see your kids and be off back to your hotel, okay? And the police will be at your hotel knocking on the door because Olivia... <laughs> has just took a sock and put an orange in it and beat the shit out of her face. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Gerard, that is the feeling that I get off of Olivia. So I, Gerard, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and most of the shit that I say on here, I call it all the time, okay? I am telling you, don't go by yourself Olivia has something up her sleeve. Olivia main purpose right now is to actually try to hurt you because everything that she already did, it didn't work. It didn't work in her favor at all. But, but Gerard, what I'm going to say to you is when you get your kids, please go ahead and go to whoever you feel you want to take your story to and let it be told. Please do that. Because the way Olivia is moving out here in these streets, you got to treat Olivia like a street bitch. Okay? See, Olivia, you cannot treat her like a woman. Olivia has to be treated like a street bitch. Olivia is the type of person where as though she will hit a guy, she will scratch a guy, she will kick a guy, but the minute that guy mushes her upside her head and walks out, Olivia turns that shit all the way around into domestic violence. Olivia turns that shit around like, oh my God, he's beating on me. I had to go and run and stay inside my closet. That's what type of craziness, Gerard, that you are dealing with. Mm-hmm. Olivia is fucking nuts, if you ask me. She is nuts. It's nothing cute. It's nothing nice. It's nothing happy about Olivia. Olivia thinks it's some cute and some niceness to her and her behavior because she doesn't do shit to anyone. But no, I, I disagree. And I'm pretty sure you disagree as well, Gerard. See, to kick the facts to you, this is what Olivia feel as though when you go to court for your kids, hopefully, Gerard, you try to make her bring them kids back and stay in that state. That's exactly what the fuck you should do, okay? Now, what Olivia feels as though she is going to get over on you about, she feels as though she is going to 
say, you know what I mean, that you have a alcohol problem because of the CPS and the driving case. That right there, Gerard, is what Olivia is banking on. She's banking on it. Next, Olivia, I can tell you right now, she is definitely going to say you used to beat on her. And conniving as Olivia is, I wouldn't put it past her to have pictures. I would not put it past Olivia to bring Stella with the goddamn boots and to the courtroom to say that she has seen y'all physically fight because Liv has said that. All right. She has seen you physically get drunk because Liv has said that and now there is a CPS case. That is what Olivia is banking on. But Gerard, the way that Olivia is moving around in these streets, you better get real slick. You better get real quick and record this fucking shit that Olivia is doing. You already seen the new boyfriend that she got on Instagram. And like I said before, he's so damn young. He looked like he just reading the cat in the hat. That's it. <laughs> but Gerard, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide on the ball for him. And um, I'm going to see you beautiful people. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide on up off of here and I am going to see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Later.